Hi there, my name is Andrew Adams from Parker Adams Boat Sales and I'm here today in a very nice warm climate. I'm here in Lanzarote and I've been asked to film, photograph and list this absolutely beautiful example of a Targa 47. Now this boat is, has been a Canary Island boat all its life. It's registered in the UK but it's tax paid in the Canary Islands which means if any buyer wants to buy it in the Canary Islands um, then there's no additional tax to pay but if you did want to move the boat into the uh, Med or back to the UK then there would be a VAT cost to pay. Now this boat is absolutely beautiful and um, I was delighted to receive a phone call from the owner Glyn a few weeks ago asking if we'd broker the boat even though she's out here in Lanzarote and one of the things that really strikes me with this boat is the fact that there is so much space on board. Um, you can see down here in the saloon you've got just a beautiful expanse of space but the woodwork is all in really really nice condition. The owner's suite here is a really nice size space and of course you've got the ensuite. Then down here in the rear cabin you have the space here where you've got twin double beds and also an ensuite. The cockpit is large and plenty of space here for lots of friends. But back to the actual condition of the boat, the boat has been really beautifully maintained since she's been out here and in fact her entire life. You can see that the hull um, is really nicely polished, it's got a lovely deep blue colour and even hulls in the UK you can see they go slightly milky after a short period of time but here it's been maintained beautifully. The level of polish is beautiful, she's got the additional windscreen covers here which just take that um, glare away from the, um, the interior of the sun so whether you're on board or whether you're leaving the boat it means there's lots lots uh, less light damage going onto the boat. The Targa 47 has historically been considered the absolute sweet spot in the Targa range. As everybody knows that watch my videos, I'm a Targa man myself, I had a Targa 34 and I've now got a Targa 44. Um, but the 47 is brilliant. The 47 gives you just that little bit extra space. You've got it on shaft drive, so this boat's powered by Volvo Penta D9575 engines um, and that propels this boat in excess of 30 knots. So great performance, but the D9 engines, a really nice solid lump of engines. Actually Volvo don't have many issues with the D9 engines at all. Um, looking down the boat you've got good sized side decks, a good walk um, round, you've got these little lift up cupboards here, oh no don't, <laughs> not lift ups at all, I thought they were lift ups now I'm getting confused with the Targa 44. So as we walk down one thing I really like is you've got the, um, the fender baskets which are moulded into the stainless steel so someone's actually cut out the stainless steel added in the fender baskets there which is a really nice benefit. Um, up on the bow you've got windlass which can of course be operated both on the bow and also at the helm area. As we walk back down the boat, on the boat now, um, you can see that the, the rear platform here um, is just laid to teak. This is all in really, really nice condition and the teak on the platform. Again, lots of boats that have been out in the med or out in the sun, the, the cockpit um, teak tends to lift quite badly, but none of that's present on this boat, which just shows how well she's been maintained. The 47 has really nice side access, so you can step onto the boat just here, obviously minding the cleats, and then you've got steps all the way up here. Now one of the big differences that the Targa 47's got, which I'll show you a little bit later, is of course the tender garage. Now the tender garage can take up to probably about a 2.8, 2.9 metre boat. Um, you can put the Williams mini jet in there, you can put a jet ski, lots of versatile options there inside the tender garage. I'll show you how that lifts later. Um, this boat's got the extended LED lighting package. Now what that means is you've got courtesy lighting which is present throughout the whole cockpit area but you've also got courtesy lighting which is down below. Now that courtesy lighting runs underneath the front bed, underneath the cabinet tree and underneath the sofas and it adds a really nice glow to the boat at night which adds a really good feel to it. The 47 of course because it's got the tender garage has this really nice big sunbathing platform here. Um, Sunbathing platform, it's not a platform, it's a pad, sunbathing pad here and what's nice as well is you can see if you're going along and you have people on here you've got good solid handrails that can hold on to as they're moving along or of course if you've got people sunbathing here you could just hold on to that there. Now all of the upholstery on board this boat um, is actually original, again a testament to how nicely it's been kept. So there are no rips, tears, it's not stretched in the slightest. Something I've noticed that they do quite a lot on the med boats is you've got this slight weave pattern just in here and I think that's just to allow the fabric to breathe a little bit more but I do think it makes it that little bit more durable. So you can see there's no rips, no stretching, it just looks in really really nice condition. This table has been beautifully kept and the table you can fold up so you can take up a little bit less space there in the cockpit but if you want to have a, a large meal out then you've got the space here. I'll leave it like that for now. 
On this side, you've got a really good wet bar, and of course you've got a barbecue. Now this boat has got a generator, so if you're fitted, if you're out on a bay somewhere, and you want to have uh, access to your ice maker, access to your fridge, your grill, then you can run the generator. But the generator's hardly been used. It's actually only done about 50 hours, so the generator's barely used. In fact, the engines have only done about 550 hours, so a very, very low used boat. You've got a hot and cold running water here, you've got your barbecue grill, you've got a fridge in here which is actually a new one's been ordered so um, the light comes on but it doesn't keep the fruit, the, um, the beers that cool anymore so that's being replaced and then in here you've got a really nice ice maker so an ice maker there that just produces tons of ice to keep your drinks nice and cool. Up on the top you've got an additional um, cool box again this is a, um, a cool box you've got a drain area in here and that's a good space just to keep additional beers waters and things like that there's locker space um, underneath all of these cupboards so if we look under here you've got a life raft under there with storage space there's also more space under there so good space but you can see the condition of the teak um, it's really really strong it's really thick it's not lifting in any areas and this boat really does feel and look fantastic certainly belies the 2006 year that she is if we look up to the ceiling you've got fusion um, sound system this is fitted with a an apollo ra770 which is the top of the line fusion sound system it's powered with an amp that runs the speakers the cockpit lighting all the way throughout here we've got the roof open at the moment but when the roof is closed you've got a skylight and you've got a sort of a, a nice shaped into the Fairline logo there which is a really nice touch from Fairline if we move up you've got a large seating area here this is nicely shaped so that most people are sitting pretty much facing forward apart from the very first seat there and you could I reckon get three people sat down there a big benefit of the Targa 47 over the 44 that I've got is that you've got the dual helm seat, which is really nice. On the 44, you've just got a single seat, but on the 47, you've got the dual one, so you can have your, your, your passenger sat next to you. You've got a nice drop down, so if you're helming the boat, you've got lots of different options here. You can sit down here and bolster yourself in. All the controls are around. You've got vents here just to keep you cool. Um, actually, talking about keeping cool, I should mention, of course, this boat is fitted with air conditioning, but something I've never seen before is this boat's fitted with air conditioning also in the cockpit area. So there's a big air conditioning vent here. So during the summer months, you could go to a bay, close the cockpit off and have cool air being pumped out of here, which is really, really nice. So you'd be up here, but still be being cool. In terms of your navigation equipment, you've got a Raymarine E120, you've got a, um, a depth, depth um, and also autopilot system, so they're both on here, you've got the tri-data and then the autopilot. All the switches all look to be in nice condition, cool air fans that just pump a bit of cool air out there, and then obviously because it's the Volvo D-Series engines, you've got the later generation of dials. EDC controls and bow and stern thrusters on this boat, all of which are operated from a remote control. So if you're single-handed or short-handed, then you can step off the boat and just bring the boat into the side using the remote control, which is a really nice feature. The other thing is you've got a, a giant footrest. So you can bolster yourself into here, you can be in a seated position, or if you just take this, bring this down, drop that into position there, you can now stand on that, and then when you're out at sea, you've got a really nice high vi visibility now. So I just grab hold of the GoPro for a second. You can see that up here, I've now got a perfect line of visibility. I'm not particularly tall, I'm only about five foot 10, but I can see right over the windscreen to give me a perfect line of sight there. So I think it's time to take my shoes off and show you down below on this lovely boat. So as we step down below, all the carpets have been replaced. It's a really nice a pattern on this. I really like that. So all the carpets are all brand new and this boat smells new. It's got a really good feel to it. Um, this upholstery we believe is original, but it's absolutely beautiful condition. There's no rips, tears, no stretches. And then a really nice thing they've done here is the older Fairlines had a television in this area here, which is quite a small television. What this owner's done is he's actually put a, a mirror in that space there, which gets rid of all the holes that are behind it. And then there's a large television which just sits up on the cabinet here. I think that's a really good use of space there. And actually using that extra mirror, it, it opens up this cockpit space even more. Uh, just down here, you can see that's the, the Fusion RA770 there. 
and let's start off in the front. So this is the owner's suite, um, already ordered, all of this is going to be replaced, so that's going to have a really nice sort of biscuity oatmeal colour, so that will be replaced by the time this boat uh, goes on the market. And it's a good size space in the Targa 47, you've got room to change in here, you've got of course air conditioning in this front cabin as well, and you have an ensuite in here. Full wraparound shower, nice use of mirrors, and it's a good storage space inside this mirror here as well. Just open up there and you've got storage lock space in there as well. Close that up. Close that up. Okay, back through into here. Again, you've got, you can see all this cherry wood presented in beautiful condition, um, air conditioning vents on both sides. Your boat runs on two, um, obviously 240, it's a 24 volt system on the Targa 47. So all of your distribution panel is up here and your operation for the generator. One of the big differences again between the 44 and the 47 is the size of the galley. The galley is huge on this boat, it runs all the way down here. You've got a double sink, electric hob, electric microwave, uh, space at the back there for toaster and kettle, and probably one of the best features is a huge fridge and freezer. So the Targa 47 comes with this giant size, um, household size <laughs> fridge and freezer, and that's a really nice feature. People who have the 47 always say that they don't know how they survived with a smaller fridge than that. As you'll have seen, there's a rear cabin, so as we step down here, um, there's courtesy lighting which is in each of the steps. And then into the rear cabin, you've got two set up as two singles. You can get an infill for these, which make that up into a large double berth there. Love the wooden blinds at the back. You've got space here um, and light. And then you've got an ensuite in the back here. So again, a full wraparound shower, which is really nice. Um, ocean air blinds. All of the woodwork again presented in beautiful condition and it's a really nice place. If we come back up, you can just see the courtesy lighting in there. Just set that up. Um, there's a locker space which is situated under the floor um, in both the galley area and then also bilge access with additional locker space in here. And overall, this has got a really, really nice feel to it. And I hope it comes across that this it really is presented in just beautiful condition. Um, again, I bought a bed med boat and I found that some of the med boats, the wood starts to go, the headlining start to go, the upholstery can be in a bit of a mess. But actually, this is a really fantastic example. Um, I'm really, really proud to be brokering this boat um, and one of the first boats that we're brokering from abroad. So I go back up into the cockpit space again. Um, what I want to do is just show you the, the garage, so the operation of the, um, the garage. So what I do is just press a button here, you can hear the beeps going off. That's quite a nice touch there, you can see just to show that it's operating, the lights are there flashing in red. I would say this takes about 15-20 seconds. YouTube will tell me if I'm right or wrong. It goes all the way up there. I'm just gonna put my shoes back on. I should have planned this better, but because the, the platform is wet, I don't wanna then trip wet socks through. There we go. So as we go back down again, you can see here the tender garage. Now the tender garage at the moment is used for lots of cleaning equipment. You can see masks, flippers there. Um, but in the important parts about the tender garage is that this bracket just here, that flips over and then locks into place. And then you've got an electric winch at the other end and you've got a control unit just there for the winch. So what you can do is you can get that Williams jet rib, bring it up to the side here and then just winch it straight into the garage, press a button, the garage door closes and you don't need to worry about it. So it's a really nice feature on the Targa 47 there. I think it looks pretty cool open actually. Looks a bit like a transformer. <laughs> and I'll just close that up again. And done. So if I bring that back down and I'm just gonna hold the GoPro here while I have a little sit down. So thank you all for watching this walkthrough tour. It's a Targa 47. It is presented in beautiful condition. It's out here in Lanzarote um, and we welcome any UK buyers, anyone from the Med, or of course any buyers that want to come out to the Canary Islands to view her, then please get in touch with us at Parker Adams. Um, this boat is a real testament to all of the owners. She's not, as I mentioned several times, what I would consider to be a typical med boat. She's 
pre beautifully presented, a boat that literally every option box has been ticked, and she is a really, really special Targa 47. So I'm going to close off the video now and just walk back down onto the pontoon and just spin the camera around. So thank you as always for watching. It's been a pleasure to bring you this Targa 47 out here in Lanzarote. It's a beautiful example. 2006 boat, very low hours, only 550 hours. And many people consider the Targa 47 to be the absolute sweet spot in the Targa range. And from looking over this boat again, it's very easy to see why people think that. So thanks as always for watching. We very much look forward to seeing you on the next video. And please get in touch if you'd love to see this boat in person. Thanks as always.